What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video and welcome back to me being late. Yeah, it always happens. I have everything. Blackjack, Jeep, Denali, trailer. All right, that's where we're going. Man, this thing is filthy. It's gonna be a good day. The Mini Max is finally making its return. No, ladies and gentlemen, we have not gotten rid of the Mini Max. It's just been down for a little while because it needed to get fixed. All right, so if you're part of the notification squad and you're seeing this video on the 24th of November, you have two days to get entered for Long Bed Larry, which is my 2003 LB7 Duramax. Plus, if you're the winner, you're gonna get $5,000 cash in your pocket. Yes, ladies and gentlemen. So a truck plus the money for your benefit. And right now, triple entries are live through the end of the giveaway. So time is ticking. The two-week truck giveaway is is, well, here, but it's gonna be gone really, really fast. Plus right now, the Rebel Heavyweight is available if you guys want it, and mark my words, they're truly limited. So if I get your message like a week from now and you're asking me if I have an extra one, I don't, I'm sorry. I'm already answering that ahead of time. I really apologize, I wish that I could, but that would defeat the whole purpose of limited products. I'm trying to create that exclusivity for you guys. We've got a two hour drive down. It's already one o'clock in the afternoon. It is daylight savings time, meaning that it's gonna probably be dark around 4.30, which puts us down at Logan's around Round three, which gives us about an entire hour to have some fun in the daylight with the Mini Max. So we're gonna take it out, we're gonna have some fun with it, we're gonna rip it around for a little while, we're gonna see how the new transmission feels, we're gonna get it loaded up, and then we're gonna get back. That's pretty much what the day is planned right now. Uh, yeah, let's see how it goes. All right, guys, we're on like a 16th of a tank. This dude's just chilling. It's a good opportunity to fuel up myself. Yo, where's the coffee? <laughs> Thank you, man. You too. Thank you for parking in the diesel spot, dude. Really appreciate it. So uh, single cab with heated seats, yeah buddy. up there quickly if you know what I'm saying. Failure reason number one. What you do said you, what rolling you, burnouts were acceptable. What do you not have to say about that? Burnouts. Mm -hmm. Is that true? I mean, yeah. Okay. You like, got me. what about like what just happened in Mexico there? Like, wow. Where like it made so many horsepowers, it just spun the tires. That's no, meant. That's okay. Yeah. But what's not okay? That. <laughs> Thanks for the uh, real world example there. Mini Max is feeling good though, man. Really, really good. All right, boys and girls, we got the Mini Max back up on the trailer. It was a short little fun run. I didn't want to get too carried away because I would have literally just gone all day. You can see we sprung a little bit of a leak. Has nothing to do with Logan. Actually, that was because, well here. Oh, I'll show you guys real quick. When we uh, did the turbo kit install, we had relocated some lines, and uh, in that relocation process, we had removed some of the hard lines, replaced with soft lines, and all that kind of stuff. 
and there's uh, basically a line like right down there that's leaking a little bit so one of those clamps just basically needs to be tightened down. That's something that I'm going to do when I get home rather than take care of it right here because I want to get up underneath and I want to kind of change the oil and do a whole bunch of other stuff so I figured I'd just knock it out. Plus Logan's super freaking busy with a whole bunch of stuff going on down here and he knocked this one out and I'm sure he's you know he hates to say goodbye to it but probably loves to say goodbye too because then I you know I just bug him like every day and I'm asking him how the process is going but it's back boys and it shifts so good it feels absolutely amazing and man does it rip I forgot what it was like to be behind the wheel of a super fast truck I'll tell you what guys it is something that you absolutely need to experience I assure you of that man boys we are lit up out here like a Christmas tree would you just look at that truck has been towing phenomenally can't see anything now let's do this again watch Hit the unlock button one time real quick. Lights everything back up. It's pretty sweet. Bed lighting's been super nice in the 2020. Low light quality on the G7X Mark III is awesome. Although it has had its focus issues, you gotta give it credit. Minimax did good. And now it's in for a long night of uh, basically just catching up with it. It's been a while since we've had this thing back on the channel. I know you guys have missed it. I've missed it tremendously. Can't wait to get it unloaded, have some fun with it for a little while. But it's actually gonna have to get reloaded back up because it's actually not going to be around for long and there's going to be more to come on that but there's something that we've needed to do to this truck for a very long time and it's finally getting done so although we just got the minimax back it's gonna be gone again if that makes sense so we got it back but we sort of didn't in a way so I've got kind of this like love-hate relationship that it's like so close within arm's reach, but it's like not close at all. So it's like a love-hate thing because the Minimax is finally back and I'm super excited about it. And the fact that it's like within arm's reach is awesome. But at the very same time, it's not gonna be around for a little bit longer. So yeah. All right, boys and girls, and we're back in the garage just like that. Daylight savings time kicking in on schedule. It is literally only five o'clock right now and uh, Check it out, guys. It's just pitch black outside. We're losing so much daylight for vlogging, but we're all kind of suffering from this whole daylight savings phenomenon thing that I totally don't agree with. I don't even see why it's really necessary. Like you can see back in like the 20s, daylight savings time is probably pretty important because there wasn't really like much electricity and like lighting to go around. But now like everything is so well lit and uh, we still have to kind of change. I don't know if it really makes sense to me. That's just like my, my, my two cents about daylight savings time. Uh, and in another note, I got a lot of questions about the hunting situation this year wasn't able to pin any more deer with the bow we're completely out of bow season now here in Pennsylvania in my WMU but I did just pick up a rifle if you guys can recall my goal was to get my first deer ever hunting with the bow which I did it took three years to do and I feel so accomplished so I treated myself and I ended up going out and picking up a rifle just a slug rifle to keep it simple my hunting spot isn't like drastically long so I want to be courteous to the landowner that gave me permission to hunt that ground. And by doing so, shooting something that doesn't have an extremely long range, something that's a little bit more, I don't know, respectable to tighter quarters, if you will. Uh, so I just picked that up. I'm hoping that I can fill the other two doe tags and my buck tag uh, when rifle season fires up here right after Thanksgiving. So with that said, I'll definitely be bringing you guys out for some rifle hunting and then maybe even for some late archery, but only time will tell. So that's where we're gonna wrap up the video, ladies and gentlemen. Not much more that we can do here with the situation that we've got going on, but stay tuned for the next upload when the Mini Max is already kind of going away again. Um, that's all I can kind of say right now, and you guys will see why, and I think you'll definitely agree with the move. Kind of sucks, because I selfishly just want to hold on to it. But this is my second to last reminder for all of you on YouTube and triple entries right now for Long Bed Larry. If you guys want to win Long Bed Larry plus five grand cash, here's one of your last warnings. The two-week truck giveaway. It's almost done. That being said, my Life League, I love you guys. Do you your best. Tap that subscribe button on your way out. Thanks for 186,000 subscribers. You guys are amazing. And I'll see you all in the next upload. What's up, doggies? Hi, doggy. Hi, doggies. Now allow me to reintroduce myself. They call me J-O-A to the easy e Know that we undefeated. Y'all are beneath them speeds. It's trying to air a grievance. But his lines are overhead. Better check the air for clearance. Call the tower. This is our clear to heat it. All the more times I've been seven, I'm raising the bike, you go ahead and mess with you. Think about time for a toast, yeah. time that we welcome to go. Yeah. Yo, we're just leaving, I think about time that somebody go get on that coat. You know I got all that anthem, come back in, what you call that add on? Got anthems and bands with masters, getting them rights like my name was Miranda. I ain't bigger dead than alive, I ain't bigger dead than alive. One more time, this is forever, remember the legend, he never gonna die. Yeah. I ain't bigger dead than alive, I bigger dead than alive. I ain't bigger dead than alive, dead, 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 dead alive, yeah. I think it's in alive, I think it's in alive, la la la. Just making sure that you know why, because this is forever.